Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I've been holding on to this video since late last fall because at the time I was a little bit bored with the furniture videos that I was making so I didn't share it. But today you're going to watch a very satisfying makeover of a piece that's been in my dining room since and I really really love it. It adds a lot of character to the space so let's get into it. We first took apart the door by removing the wooden decorative arches and the glass and while I thought these parts looked pretty cool on their own, the wood was chipped and damaged so I just opted to go a different direction with the piece. Hold up your trophy. In front of your face. Do it so I can see myself in it. <laughs> Perfect. So natural. You're a model, baby. Vogue. Cover girl. Something, something. Give it a whirl. I'm going to sand this down and probably go ahead and paint it so that I can decide what color paint I want to do. <laughs> I know that seems a little bit backwards. One of the first things I'm noticing are these little bits around the edges are coming off and that wouldn't be such a big deal if it wasn't actually broken. Um, if I could just re-glue it, I would do that, but this is, yeah, that's a problem. But maybe we just take this one off and see. What about for this? Ooh. This is one of those real what's done is done kind of moments. <laughs> and I think once it's sanded down and painted, it won't make much of a difference. So one thing I'm thinking as I look at this drawer next to this color, that I really like the orangish red with that pretty blue. Uh, so I think I'm going to start by the, oh shoot. Oh, it's fine. Cool. <laughs> I think I'm going to start by leaving the drawers unpainted because if I want to paint them, I can always come back and do that later. Um, but for right now, we're just going to focus on the main body of the piece. And we're gonna do it all in this navy-ish blue. So here you're gonna see that I basically held my nozzle a little bit too close and got too much paint on there and it started dripping. But real quick, if you notice that whenever you're painting, just make sure that you wipe it really quickly and then you can go over it again um, while it's still wet with just a much lighter coat and it will fix that drip. So, wow. So we've got our two pieces painted. I gotta let them dry. I've got some other stuff to do, so I'll come back to this later today with a less blue nose. But on the upside, I got um, a manicure. All right, so I do actually really love the look of this. Um, I'm not sure if these need to be painted. I kind of kind of like it all. I think if I give this a nice light sanding and then oil it just to make that come out a little bit better. But um, and then we've got some touch up areas to do with the paint like right there. But overall, I think it actually looks pretty spiffy. So when we took the wooden pieces out of the door, it left all of these little indents. So what we did to remedy that is basically make a one-to-one -one, um, wood glue and sawdust paste, and we used that as a wood filler. Now, the sawdust that we had on hand was actually a little bit too chunky for this. I would not recommend this. Um, I'd definitely recommend using a finer grain of sawdust. Um, but. Anyway, it still worked, it still did its job. I just ended up liking the shelf better open. And then I also used a white vinegar to just soak the hinges and screws and everything and clean them off. And I used a light, light coating of olive oil to just bring out the shine and the stain. I didn't actually sand these, I just used the oil and look how freaking good it looks. Just, oh, chef's kiss. Look at how that olive oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
What do you think? So here is the final product, my friends, and like I said, I absolutely love it. It is the perfect pop of color in an otherwise very mildly decorated space. It's just got all of my antique teapots and dishes and teas in it, and so I use it all the time, but I just, I just love the way it looks. The paint and the stain has held up really well. And here's how it looks in the space. Peep the little homemade coffee card on the right there. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.